Shama, I appreciate that you're calling for a united front and that a vote for Stein Baraka represents that movement. Uh, you know, the Green Party actually has somewhere between a quarter million and 400,000 members and supporters. We've elected thousands of people across the country, including um, a, a statistic that most people don't know. At the local level, Greens win over a third of the time that we run uh, for office. So an invitation, not a challenge, a genuine invitation for you, Socialist Alternative, and other progressives and leftists across the country is to consider looking at the Green Party's platform and not just our program and platform, but the fact that we have ballot lines ready to go to consider running with us. Because I believe that the future uh, is a red, green, black alliance. Red for socialism and the history that, of what that represents, green for the Green Party, but also deep ecology, and black to represent black and brown liberation uh, and an anti-imperial uh, foreign policy. Wondering what you think about that. I think that's absolutely a necessary part of what we need to go keep do, to do going forward. I absolutely agree that we need to be working together on the left. And I also like how you framed that, because it's a reminder of how uh, everything is interlinked under capitalism. You can't fight against racism. You can't fight to end racism unless you're also fighting for workplace rights uh, against corporate politics and against corrupt politicians. But you also can't do the, the latter without also fighting against racism. So I think uh, the highlighting of the connections between all these various issues is very important. And in fact, what you, uh, what you stated, it's sort of metaphorically sort of re reminding me of what happened in 1968, which was the last era of really powerful social movements. But what made it particularly powerful and really uh, a threat to the ruling elite it, it was that was precisely that, was that the Native American rights movement, the anti-war movement, women's rights movement, black rights movement, they were all starting to coalesce together because they were all starting to see, wait a minute, we are all actually fighting for an alternative to capitalism and we should all be bringing our movements together. And that understanding was starting to seep in. And even before that, Martin Luther King was understanding that and he made it clear that this is, you cannot fight for black rights unless you're also fighting for the poor and fighting against poverty. And so all of that needs to be fought against. And really, as, as you and I agreed, this is a fight against capitalism itself. And we are not going to be able to do it as long as we are in uh, little organizations, little groups where we have our own agenda and we're not coming together. And I think that the best way to move forward is we be honest, as we have been so far, we be honest about our differences and keep discussing and debating them in an open way. Mm -hmm. But I think that that is completely outshined by the vast majority of social justice agenda that we do agree on. And we absolutely need to work together and not only run candidates from the left in a united fashion, but also use that electoral energy to build mass movements in the grassroots.